Hey guys, Steadfast RC. Today I got a question on one of my videos from a guy whose channel name is The Backyard Dronery. And he was asking about the Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver on the iFlight ProTech 25. And for some reason, I don't understand why, but the ProTech 25 does not seem to like the Express LRS receiver in stock format. So let's go ahead and get the iFlight ProTech 25 on the bench. I'll get the camera, battery, top plate, and stuff off there. And I'll show you guys inside what I had to do to the Express LRS receiver to get it to work on this flight controller. So I got the run cam and the battery off, and now we're just going to unscrew these um, well, I guess I might as well take this off too. Get the battery strap out of the way. And we're just going to unscrew these top plate screws. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Get all six of those out. Alright, so top plate's coming off. You guys may have noticed I'm running the five blade props on here. Um, I'm still not really sure if I prefer them over the stock ones or not. So, right there is my Express LRS. Let me just kind of, uh, I think I can just kind of pry it off here gently. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I got to take it off anyway because I'm going to replace the VTX with hopefully a better one. Come on out. There we go. Alright, so here's a close-up and you can see the resistor going between the positive wire and the receiver wire, the yellow wire right there. And I'll, I know it's hard to uh, see this if you're looking at your phone or whatever, so I'll just keep it here for a second. And you can feast your nerd eyes on that for a minute so you guys know exactly where to put the resistor. And to make it even easier, I got a printout here for you guys of the... EP1, EP2, and PP receiver, but we're going to go with the EP1 because that's what I'm using right now. And the resistor, just to make doubly sure that you guys understand where it goes, goes between the VCC pin and the RX pin. So just jump these pads with the resistor right between them. Don't worry, it's not going to short anything out. It'll be fine. So that's what you do. So just go on Amazon and type in 100 ohm resistors. And they're just these little things right here. They come in packs of 100. I believe it's 100 anyway. And uh, that's all you need. Your 100 ohm resistor between the positive and the RX side of the receiver. So, hopefully that's all that you guys have to do, like me, in order to run your Express LRS on the ProTech 25. This is the only quad I've ever had any problem with it, and I don't know why, but... For me, this was a solution, and I hope it is for you too. Thanks for watching, guys.